let us mesh this structure so select all and here you can see in edit and go to edit areas divide areas the main thing we have to consider is that there should be node to node connection between mesh else the analysis result will be little bit tedious or it will be little bit haphazard as it won't be accurate or approximate as we are expecting so we have to give a little bit care while meshing the structure so as the structure is little bit irregular so the best option here will be divide area using general divide tool based on selected points and frame so the main thing is that we want the node connection between the wall and slab so the points are selected and maximum size of divided objects so you can put the size depending upon the accuracy you want so generally 0.5 meter will be appropriate considering the structure height so we will take 0.5 for now apply so it will take little bit of time considering the general divide tool so with other it will not take more time but considering this math, uh, this option it will take a little bit of greater time so you can see here okay, let us check the interconnection between wall and slab so there is a proper connection between the mesh of wall and slab so this is what i wanted now let us provide support firstly we will provide the area spring because the structure is supposed to rest on the swell so the swell will provide certain support and that is the swell spring support so now let us select all the element of the slab that is the mesh of slab and we will assign area spring okay in many of the videos you, you might see providing joint spring that is also an option but for now the size of mesh is not equal so we cannot provide or it will be little bit tedious to provide a joint spring so we will provide area spring and we will provide spring stiffness per unit area considering a single mesh so the formula is soil bearing capacity now let us assume soil bearing capacity a soil bearing capacity as 200 kN per meter square into factor of safety so generally geotechnical engineers provide factor of safety 3 in case of soil bearing capacity i have made a different video about the foundation design you can see there about this concept that is the factor of safety so we will provide factor of safety as 3 into allowable deflection so for wrapped the allowable deflection is 25 mm so 1 by 25 that is 25 mm but we have to convert that mm into meter so multiplying that by 1000 that is converting into meter the mm value was in denominator so while converting that into meter it will be into 1000 so 24,000 kilonewton per meter per meter square so this is the area spring area object face so now let us see in 3d as i said the red color is indicates top and the other color that is either that is gray or magenta that represents bottom so for now the area object will be top because the swell or the spring is to be assigned in this face so top and inward so from top face to bottom face that means inward and this will be compression only because swell doesn't provide tension support that is only provide resistance against compression applied so area spring has been assigned to the base slab 